actually a sneak with Jay running into Barbados. Why you go across it? Like, I feel like I'm in Bahrain where we gotta come on from Bahrain. Bahrain? Yes. Bahrain? Yes. Are you made in Maldives? Yep. It's not Bahrain. Alright. <laughs> yeah, that's how I feel because. So even though Barbados' airport is, I would say, fairly developed, it's not like most airports where you, um, you're on the plane and you taxi in. No. We get off that flight, we have to walk down the stairs or whatever, <laughs> and walk across the tarmac. So Jay was pretty surprised at that. <laughs> we also surprised Jay's cousin, who was only expecting me and my brother to come. He was not expecting Jay. That was a really good surprise. He double looked just now. He double looked. <laughs> <laughs>
finally touch down in the place. <laughs> I am greeted by the wa, the pino all of them. <laughs> you hear them, my beep 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 beep. Mm, so me I will have flip you now. See the airport ya. Yeah. Yeah, the airport ya. Yeah. Grandly Adams International. See the people. Mm. Out here. I'm about to plug out here now with cause you see it so a road rag a shot here now you know. you see it you'll also notice that Jay goes full Jamaican on us when he's holding the camera so if you don't understand what he was saying we might need to get a translator <laughs> So crazy that as soon as we go into Isens, I see one of my friends. How are you doing? <laughs> sneak, well, I sneak, well, I sneak. It's a sneak peek in a barbie as well. Nice to meet you. I already know you from Sneak. Oh, that's a wrap, right? But you feel like you know it, so this is your first time in Barbados. Yes. So it's a sneak, sneak peek. Yes. So you get to be into the sneak peek now. Because, <laughs> you know, I'll try to catch it. What you're seeing here is basically what all these things is like every Friday night. I love it.
People say so he from the man himself and yes, the native, so you know say tomorrow J Glow Black are going out there live right. and direct, you understand? You don't know, pick up yourself, have right. respect. Make sure we see you out there tomorrow. Healthy beer. Alright, see I'm there, I said nothing. People out there. Yes, brother. Stay solid one time if you lie with me. Just promise you never lie to me. Keep the moves on tuck, I know it's all up. Everything good, keep the vibes on crush, I know it's all Yeah, fish market for the people and eh? nice and pretty man. Mm. Hot. Yes, yeah. Mm. Mm. Oh, that looks nice, huh? Nice and fresh. You like getting it back? Hmm? You like getting it Obviously, they'll tell because obviously we left there and come wrong and things. So. Mm -hmm. But okay. 
Yeah, because they got eat the lots of uh, shit shit right down there. Mm -hmm. So they, 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 they're going to be fishing also, I think, on the side there. So. Oh. A whole lot of solar panel on the um, yeah, that's market. The, that's the way to go now. Oh, oh yes. Yeah, right. Right. Where's Colin Longwood fish there that he did? No, the long one. That one, that one right there. See him over there by the leaf. See the leaf right there? Yeah. They call it the Garboys, I say as well. Yeah, Garboils. Garboils. Yeah, we call them Piper in Jamaica. Oh. Yeah, man. It tastes real good. You better, you better from the girl from there. Which girl? Yeah. Me the girl from the we come out the other one? Which one? Yeah, yeah you gonna... Yeah, she, she, just, she just got from me. Oh, she just got from you. Huh? She just got from you. Yeah. Oh. Because they got the event this year over my head. Hold it up. Just a minute. You're gonna get some. Oh, okay. Yeah, okay. I'm not gonna show this. I can't pull my hand out of the hurt man. Can I share again? Nice. Oh, oh, pretty. Pretty. Yeah, I missed that one. I share the phone. Potassium. No, be good now. Yeah. 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 Some of the, some corn, yeah. stuff it, okra, some callaloo. Yeah, look, right by scale there. Right. Good boy, good boy. That's tuna. That's tuna? Yeah. Have you never worked so hard? You Oh. I see you never worked so hard yet. <laughs> Go on uh, Hey, listen. Don't let the fears fool you in. I hear you. Oh, tuna. This thing is huge. Damn. It's a serious tuna thing. Look like a piece of steak, yo. Oh, what's that right there? What's that, chicken bar? Uh-uh. That's swordfish tuna. That thing look like chicken bar, man. Yeah, it, That's so fish bone. Watch it. Ah, right. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh, well, what do you say? That's tuna or shark? That's marlin. Marlin. This is tuna. That's tuna. Mm -hmm. oh. And that's the marlin. Mm -hmm. oh. See people I look? Mm -hmm. Is that? No, show me. See, this is how you check the fish people. This gotta be extremely red. And the fish, mm. it's gotta be firm. Must eye clear. See this out of skill. So this is the dolphin fish that it's okay, okay. Now I understand. When it's a dolphin, I thought it was the actual dolphin. You know, you know the one in the. What do you mean the big boys? Yeah. Oh, so this is the dolphin people. So if you come to Barbados and they say they got dolphin, <laughs> it's, the big <laughs> it's not that big one. Yeah, it ain't that big one at all. So no need to worry. One of them special tool here. Yeah. As in rubber cavalli. 
Ouais, on fait ce qu'on Les achats, ouais. <rire> So we stop catching a little food, you know. Okay. All right, but yeah, I need a pier though. Let me get two pier now. Two so right eat pier. Eat, oh. yeah, you eat today. That's two right piers. Yeah. All right. Um, yeah. Uh, let me get two peppers. Mm -hmm. All right. Yeah. Yeah. yeah but, uh, banana. Let me spread out there. Let me spread out the bite. Right. I'm gonna go with the pear. I'm gonna go with the pepper. Okay. Right? I'm gonna get plantains over there. Yeah. No, I'm gonna get plantains over there and then I'm gonna go down there and get the banana. I'm gonna spread it out. No? Yeah. How you doing, mama? Huge thanks to Robin, the tour guide, for this trip to Oystens. So every, every, every like you left now. Uh, so, so people, right, so there's a gap. My, my, my comrade here explaining what is a gap, right? Because I didn't catch it. Right, so so this, basically, go ahead now, man. Right. So basically, it's like an off road, a side road. Right. It's called a gap. So when a man told the fourth gap, you got to count the fourth gap, the second gap. So you got to count the best gap. So that's a say what? So that's a say what? Look at this say what? So right now, here, because we're guilty, say what? Any gap? This right here is a gap coming right. up here. So I'm out. I'm out. I'm out. I tell you, when you get the bend, mm -hmm. turn right. Uh huh. Right. Turn right. So I'm out. Tell you, we can take the first bend. You can turn right. 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 You hear that, people? So anything off road is considered a gap. Any little lane, any little road, it's a gap. Live and direct from the Barbadians themselves. People are not sitting down asking for a handout or whatnot. They are up outside with their little stalls selling whatever they can sell to make a move. Not begging. One of the highlights of our trip was being invited to Uncle George's Fishnet Grill here in Oystens. <laughs> Fam, the food here is so delicious. If you've not come to Uncle George's before, you are missing out. Now, I've been coming to Oysteen's for years, but never ate from Uncle George's until this trip. So there are tons of vendors here at Oysteen's. If you come to Oysteen's and you purchase food from other vendors, I promise you, you are missing out. I recognize that now. So my girl Verdell, listen, we go way back from primary school, love her. She and my cousin Jackie as well as Jay's cousin Romeo came over as well to enjoy some of that delicious food. Now what's crazy is that Romeo told us that we should come and eat at Uncle George's that very first night when we landed. We came straight to Oysteen's off the plane. We were starving, but we ended up 
um, having food from another vendor that was closer to the roadside. So basically when you walk off of the street, you're going to find a ton of vendors, but you have to walk in a little bit in order to find Uncle George's. <laughs> You can also pick up some of your favorite Bajan drinks like Rude Boy at Uncle George's. One of my favorite Bajan drinks is Plus, but I also love a good Tiger Malt. The best Malta that you'll find anywhere and I dare you to challenge me on that one. We were each served a platter which consisted of coleslaw, macaroni pie, and rice and peas along with various types of fish now the fish i think was marlin swordfish we had some shrimp and there was one other type of fish i just don't remember right now but everything was so delicious guys the fish was literally melting in my mouth very well seasoned moist i mean I, I would eat their food every single day and never get bored. Uncle George himself was also there that night and later on, we got a chance to speak with him. So as much as I tried to convince him to share his secret recipe with us, he did not cave in. So basically only those who are on the grill, who works with him, those are the people he's entrusted with that recipe. So people, we are here, right? Jay-Z are the first time in Barbados, right? And you know me about food over as very skeptical. You know my taste but different. So I was approached by this lady herself right here, right? Telling me everything else around has nothing on Uncle George. And she just said, listen, all you have to do, just come. That's all you need to do, forward, and that's basically it. I said, you sure? She said, yeah. I said, I'm a person like this, and I'll get up, and I'll just walk away and leave your food. So listen, trust me, you're not going. So, 
I am here. I had my plate and I'm still here. <laughs> okay? So, trust me, she has. Just never just gear out of the floor. Make sure she says what she So, go ahead, the lady on the grill, as we have seen, all night. So, just. So, I want to know, like, how long have you been here? I know Uncle Jar said this place is here for 25 years, but what about you? How long have you been on the grill? Since 25 years. No way! Okay, listen. 25 years and she looks like 25. Like, how does that work? They had to get a stool and stand up. Ready? That is amazing. First of all, you have to introduce yourself to the fam. So this is Cynthia from Uncle George Fishnet. All right. When you come here, please look for this. She's a beautiful person. You can't miss her. Look for this beautiful face. You're not going to see her face in but you will definitely see her from behind, okay? Oh my God. Really? Jay just said that. Hey, listen. It's a good thing I'm assured about myself. You know what I'm saying? Cut my cat or two. But it's okay. <laughs> oh no, it's all love. But yes, so, guys. So basically, you know, tell us now. Like, <laughs> the swimming, it's very on point. If, if you want to get the real deal, you Mr. have to book that flight to Barbados. Exactly. And your first stop from the airport, right? Yes. Should be right here by Uncle George, yes. right? And if, first of all, you're booking that flight and you don't know how to get around. See that guy over there? Yes. We will definitely give you the contacts to him. So you can find him, he can pick you up from the airport and he will take you right over here. Uncle George. Yes, the one and only in Oyster. Anyone is going to be. <laughs> Anyone else. Everyone else. Thank you so much. Next we stopped in at this bar which was right next door to Uncle George. I don't remember the name but I think it's called The Deputy. If I can get the right name, I will put it up on the screen for you. But you cannot miss this bar. It is next door to Uncle George. You just walk over and sit, have a couple drinks like we did. 
have a few laughs and just relax and enjoy the rest of your night.